Friends, now we are solving the given differential equation d square y by dx square plus 1 by x into dy by dx is equal to 2L log x by x square. The given differential equation by the observation you can say this is the first derivative and this is the second derivative. So, this problem is belongs to higher order differential equations. Right. Now, you can rearrange this problem nothing but here we are multiplying with x square then we will have x square into d square y by dx square plus x into dy by dx is equal to 12 log x. You observe this problem the coefficient of x you have dy by dx nothing but the derivative of uh, what is the order of the derivative 1 what is the index of x 1 and x square coefficient is d square y by dx square. So, order of this derivative is 2 and the index of x is 2. So, you can say this problem is belongs to Euler Cauchy homogeneous linear differential equation nothing but it is in the form of you can say the differential equation with the variable coefficients. So, whenever the variable coefficients are there first we have to convert into operator form. What is the operator form means you see x square into d square plus x into d times of y is equal to 12 log x. This is in the form of f of d into y is equal to q of x form. But here this is in variable question. So, you cannot solve directly this variable question problems. What we have to do means the variable question problems we have to convert into constant questions. How it is possible means we have to substitute x is equal to e to the power of z where z is equal to log x. If you are substituted x is equal to e to the power of z then x d will be replaced by theta and x square d square will be replaced by theta into theta minus 1. What is the d? d is here differential operator differentiation with respect to x and what is the theta? theta is also a differential operator nothing but differentiating with respect to z that's it. Now we have to substitute these all values in this equation then what will happen here this problem will be converted into constant question. What is the constant question means here you will have finally f of theta into y is equal to q of z form f of theta into y is equal to q of z form. Now, the solution of this differential equation we are denoting with y of z that is the complementary function plus the particular integral. What is the complementary function? Complementary function is nothing but we know we, uh, this q of z we are taking as a 0 and uh, you will get the axillary equation from that you can get the roots based on the roots we will write the complementary function and we need to uh, after getting the complementary function that is you will have in terms of z and particular integral also we will get in terms of z. Final in the final solution we have to replace z by log x then you will get the solution is in terms of x. So, this is the procedure to solve the given differential equation. Now, I am solving the problem you observe now the given differential equation I have written in a standard form that is a homogeneous differential equation form and moreover we are written in the operator form. Now, we have to convert this one into constant quotient. For that what we have to do? We have to substitute that is nothing but put x is equal to e to the power of z where z is equal to what? Log x. Okay. Now, x is here you have x, in, x is equal to e power z and uh, x d. x d is nothing but what we are doing? Theta. What is the theta here? Theta is nothing but differentiation with respect to z and uh, where d is nothing but differentiation with respect to x. Now, x square d square is nothing but theta into theta minus 1. x square d square is theta into theta minus 1. Now, you substitute this because you have x square d square. If it is if it is x cube d cube is there, you can also uh, write uh, that is in terms of theta. What we can write means theta into theta minus 1 mean theta minus 2 theta x cube d cube as x cube d cube is equal to theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2. Now, you substitute this one, this one and these values in the above equation. Then we will have x square theta d square is nothing but theta into theta minus 1 plus x d is nothing but theta times of y is equal to 12 into log x. What you can write log x as? Z. That's it. Now, you simplify this. If you are simplified, then you will have theta square minus theta plus theta into y is equal to 12z. Right. Now, you observe here minus theta plus theta getting cancelled. Then you will have theta square y is equal to 12 times of z. Now, it is in the form of f of theta into y is equal to q of z. You observe. Now, f of theta into y is equal to q of z form. Then what is the general solution for this? General solution we are denoting with y of z that is equal to complementary function plus particular integral. So, we have to find out the complementary function. So, how to find the complementary function means we have to treat the right side part of q of z as 0. So, in this case we have to consider let y is equal to e to the power of mz 
be a solution of f of theta into y is equal to 0. Then you will have the auxiliary equation f of m is equal to 0. How it will become you see? Now what we consider m y equal to e power mz be the solution of f of theta into y is equal to 0. What is f of theta here you have? Theta square. What is the y you have? e to the power of mz is equal to you consider as 0. You see friends theta is nothing but here what? Differential operator that is the derivative with respect to z. How many times? Twice because theta square is there. Suppose if you have done one time, then you will have m into e to the power of mz. One time if you differentiated. Next again you differentiate here. If you differentiated already m is there, take left side e power mz derivative m into. So m into m, m square into e to the power of mz is equal to 0. You observe product of two functions are 0. In this case e power mz is never 0. So obviously m square is equal to 0. m square is equal to 0. So it is in the function of f of m or not. So f of m is equal to 0. Okay, so in this case the auxiliary equation is m square is equal to 0. That implies m is equal to 0 comma 0. So what you can say the roots here? Roots are real and repeated or else you can say same. Okay, in this case what is the complementary function? We have the complementary function whenever a comma b, a is a repeated. Like a is a repeated twice or thrice. If it is a repeated thrice you see we can write c1 plus c2 x plus c2 x square into e to the power of ax we will write. When we can write this one means if we are differentiating with respect to x. If we are differentiating with respect to z what we will write means here c1 plus c2 z into c3 z square into e to the power of a z we will write. That is it. So in this case the complementary function what we have how many times it is repeated twice. So only we will take c1 plus c2 z into e to the power of a z. What is a? 0 z. 0 z is nothing but 1. Now we have to convert this one into x terms. So if you return uh, in x terms, here uh, we will replace x is equal to e to the power of, we replace uh, x is equal to e power z, so z is equal to what you have to write? Log x. So whenever z is there, write on log x. Whenever e power z is there, you write on in terms of x. So c1 plus c2 log x into e power 0 z means, e power 0 means 1. So this is the complementary function in terms of x. Next what we have to do? We have to do the particular integral. Now, we are finding particular integral. How to find the particular integral means if the given differential equation is in the form of f of theta into y is equal to q of z, the particular integral we are denoting with y p i is equal to 1 by f of theta into q of z. Nothing but here 1 by f of theta is a inverse differential operator. That's it. Now, what is the f of theta we have? Theta square. So, 1 by theta square into q of z is 12 z. Nothing but, see friends, you know that theta is nothing but differential operator with respect to derivative with respect to z. Now 1 by theta is nothing but inverse differential operator with respect to z. Nothing but integration with respect to z. That's it. So 1 by theta square is there. So what we have to do in this case? We have to integrate twice with respect to z. If you are integrated with respect to one time, then you see 12 is a constant. Z integration is z square by 2. Again, we have to integrate because you have 1 by theta. Na? So here 2 1s are 2, 2 6 are 12. So 6 into z square integration is z cube by 3. So here 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6. So you will have 2 z cube, which value is particular integral. This is the particular integral in terms of what? Z. Now we have to convert into x terms. So what is the particular integral? How you can convert? We have to replace z by log x. If you have a e power z is there, then we are replacing with x. But here you have z cube. So nothing but here particular integral is equal to log x 2 into log x whole cube. Then this is the particular integral we have. What is the general solution? General solution we are denoting with y of x is equal to complementary function plus particular integral. In the previously we are done complementary function. That is c1 plus c2 log x. And what about the particular integral? 2 times of log x whole cube. So this is the final solution. Nothing but the general solution of the given differential equation. So is it clear for everyone how to solve the given problem? Friends you see if the given problem is not in the standard form we have to convert into standard form. First convert into standard form. Next one we have to write in operator form. Okay. Now, next, if the given differential equation is in a variable quotient, we have to convert into the constant quotient. For that, we have to substitute x is equal to e to the power of z and uh, where z is equal to log x and also we have to replace x d is equal to theta, x square d square is equal to theta into theta minus 1 where theta is a differential operator with respect to z. 
okay then you will have function f of theta into y is equal to q of z form in this case the general solution we are denoting with y of z is equal to complementary function plus particular integral we need to find out the complementary function and particular integral for the general method for we have a with variable quotient variable constant quotient problems we are done so based on that we have to do and finally we have to replace z by log x z by log x okay then we will have a complementary function plus particular integral in terms of x this is the final solution is it clear for everyone thank you for watching this video